Welcome to Sadness Live at Nerd Note Los Angeles! Tonight's comedians are coming up without a set list. We are going to give them a set list, and they are going to improvise the routine that goes along with it. Out of complete and total thin air with nothing to protect them but their fragile egos. Right here before your very eyes, ladies and gentlemen, leaping into the comedy abyss. I just want to say what's going on with me. I have a new dog, Charlotte. She's a terrier porgy, and she kisses me, and it's pretty good. I'm making great progress with my therapist uh, as far as uh, vulnerability. And that's what's, that's kind of the update. Well, you're welcome. The never before seen checklist of Eddie Pepperton. You know, I've stopped fishing. I've stopped fishing, and I'll tell you why. These motherfucking fish, none of them give you credit. No, none of them. They're all like, they're all like just flopping around in sense that you've put a metal hook in them. They're all fucking in sense that you've come into their habitat, God for fucking bit. Oh, this is our ecosystem. This is our way of life. It's always a middle finger from a bass that's bleeding in your boat. Anybody show me a flounder who really cares about you, I'd like to know about it. The only fucking thing from marine life that has the decency to say, thank you for baking me or fucking putting me on the half shell is the clan. They give you complicit approval. Try it, see if I'm not kidding. There are so many sea bass out there who are guilt mongers. Oh, 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 oh. You're overfishing the ocean, human race. Hey, take it easy. We all like the clam. Look. I like to walk dogs. I like to walk dogs like the next guy. I like to coexist with dogs. I love animals in general. I'm a vegan. Laugh if you will, but I am. And that's why the last tirade about the fish was funny to me because I actually feel the opposite. And those of you who are perceptive will realize that was the viewpoint <laughs> of, that, of that bit about the clam. But there is a little perversion I have when it comes to animals. I like to see them injured. <laughs> I like when they are injured. All right? Being a vegan doesn't mean that you wouldn't mind if a cow has a fucking bad knee. <laughs> or if a deer, if a deer. I just heard one, I just heard someone say, oh my God. <laughs> you try this shit. <laughs> You try. I mean, what I'm saying is that if, if a cat has to use a skateboard to get around, or if a turtle, if a turtle has its head propped up with, with a brace of some sort, then I want that animal. I want that animal to be a part of my life because one, I like a challenge. <laughs> Two, the injured, whether it's human or a pet, make me feel better that I am not injured currently. I do get injured a lot, but currently I'm not. And three, it's fun to see creatures 
in distress in a sluggish economy. I don't even know what that means. But you'll notice a theme in my work is the economy is sluggish. All right. Why does Wednesday and Friday always get the most play of the days of the week? You know, you can blow me if you're saying Wednesday is hump day, okay? Because as far as I know, because of the economy, nobody works a nine to five job anymore, okay? People are working all kinds of crazy fucking hours. The economy has hit the shitter. Yes, hipsters. People are hustling all over the place. There is no hump day, and there is no thank God it's Friday for people who work around the clock. The only thing there is is trapdoor, Operation Trapdoor Tuesday. which is when you're working your horrific fifth out of sixth job to keep your fucking head above water on Tuesday, there is a way you can get out of your fucking job. And it is done through the help of the one labor union left. <laughs> And they've arranged a trap door where poor fucks who are working 90 hours a week can go down it only on a Tuesday. And they go down the trap door and they're face to face with a beautiful, comfortable room. Which is what everybody wants. That's what you just get dropped into a beautiful, comfortable room and no one's yelling at you, demanding shit. No sick kids around you. <laughs> Nobody's got any kind of fucking disease. It's just a beautiful, comfortable room and there's nice liquids. <laughs> Trapdoor Tuesday. Already? Okay. Yes! Yes! I'm glad this is a topic. Look, the violence in this fucking godforsaken country is not gonna stop. And I'll tell you why, and you already know why, but guns are all over the fucking place. The United States is the biggest manufacturer of weapons on the planet and the distributor of weapons on the planet. Because it's all about making money. So the shootings are not gonna stop. The shootings are not going to stop. What I would like to see, if you shoot up 50 people, have the decency before you kill yourself to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's going to affect a lot of future shooters. <laughs> and the reason I'm laughing now is because I realize this is not that funny! <laughs> and it's the chance you take when you walk a tight wire like me. I'm the Philippe Petit of comedy. The guy who walked between the Twin Towers. Oh, is it too soon? Anyway... But we should have apologies no matter what we shoot. If we shoot off our penises. I like that I didn't curse there, huh? I could have called it a cock. Instead, I was like, Eddie, gently go into shooting off the, the penis. My friends tell me I use profanity as a crutch. And I tell them, go fuck yourself. Thank you, everybody. what it means to be like you. <laughs> Eddie, you were on fire tonight. How do you feel? No, I wasn't really on fire, but... Um... Yeah, Eddie, you'll get a next time. <laughs> <laughs>